Hello, this is a quick overview of the CTrader algorithmic strategy building tool. I'm going to start by um, opening it up on CTrader trade window. I could do this by clicking on the chart, tapping on the keyboard. I'm going to type in the word strategy. This will come up with the actual CBOT that I want to load. I click on it, click apply. Now it comes down on the bottom here. Now to start the CBOT, it takes a few seconds to the uh, verify window to come up. If you're using CTrader Automate, it's um, very fast, but for some reason there's a few second delay running from this window. Just click on Verify and the Strategy Builder will load. Now this tool will allow you to create um, automated trading systems using technical indicators built on trade rules. Now it allows you to do this without having to know any coding experience. So you don't need uh, software development experience or have to write code to do it. The idea behind this beta version is to allow you to actually um, build some tools, give us some feedback and let us know if it's something that you think that would be useful in the future. So to start on page one here, the start building page, it's just some basic information about the symbol you're trading with, the time frame. You can access the user guide, report a bug, make any suggestions. You can load and save predefined strategies that you've made previously. So you can load them in and it'll auto populate all the values. And you can also save these strategies. Um, so I'm going to go ahead now and choose my indicators. Now I'm going to start off with a very basic um, 5, 8, 13 um, exponential moving average strategy, which is um, quite well known. Um, if you Google it, you can find all more information. But before I do that, I'll just give you a quick overview of this page. On indicator type, um, you've got trend, oscillators, volatility, volume, other, and custom. Now CTrader has many indicators. If you go up here, it's got the same kind of layout and format. So for trend, you have all of these, oscillators, volatility, volume, other, and custom. Now custom is custom made indicators that um, other developers have made. So the plan is in the future that we have exactly the same number of indicators in this tool that you have in the CTrader platform. So you can build your automated systems based on these indicators. So for the free beta version, you've just got the eight moving average types of indicators, which is the simple, hull, exponential, weighted, time series, triangular, vidya, and well smoothing. I'm gonna start off by the 5813. So I'm gonna choose the EMA indicator. I'm gonna do the periods as five for the first one. I'm gonna leave the time frame as one hour. This also allows you to do multi time frame indicators. So you can have a one hour chart with a five minute indicator or a one hour chart with a one day indicator. And you can mix it up and have many indicators of different time frames. And this allows you to be to create a more stronger trend based um, strategy. So it's going to leave it at one hour. I'm going to add this indicator. I'm also going to do the eight and the 13. So now we've got our three indicators, five, eight, and 13, all with a time frame of one hour, very basic. The next thing I'm going to do is go to my trade rules. Now here I'm going to define the trade rules based on those indicators. I'm going to start by clicking on here. I'll choose the five EMA, that's crossed above the eight EMA. Now what this means is the exponential moving average um, five periods, one hour, so the fast moving average, which is the lower value, has moved across, has crossed above the slower moving average. Um, I'll show you this later on. I'll do a, a quick um, adding these indicators to the chart to show you after I've added these trade rules, just so you know what I'm talking about. Now, the next rule I'm going to do is the five, sorry, the eight EMA has crossed above the 13 EMA. Now that's my strategy for buy tra for a, buy a bullish signal. Now this can be used in this tool for sending trade rules, sorry, trade signals. So you can use it not for opening trades, but just for sending you a telegram message, an email or a pop-up window. So you can use these uh, rules-based strategy for sending trade signals. So it doesn't have to be for opening positions. Now the bullish trades and the bearish trades don't need to be the same. You can have them different. Um, so you can have different rules for bearish trades or bearish rules, sorry and different rules for bullish trade rules. But I'm going to keep the same here, but again, this is going to be crossing below the slow EMA. And the eight has crossed below the 13 EMA. Okay, that's the two trade rules that I've set up. <clears throat> Very basic for the first strategy that I'm building. Um, you notice here it's got trade rule has crossed above. And you can also have bullish signal. Now, bullish signal is not a fast EMA crossing above or below a slow EMA. The bullish signal is um, the price has moved across above or below the um, moving average indicator. 
Now, in the future, when we have different types of indicators, these trade rules will be very different. So this window won't be the same. It will be very different depending on which indicator you choose. Because we're moving, using moving averages, that's why you see in this window here. OK, so that's that done. Next, I'm going to set up my risk management. I can set a stop loss as 100, and I can set a take profit of, for example, 6. Um, I can set a max spread. If you want to use max spread, you can use trailing stops, just turning it on. You can do a trailing stop trigger or a break even. So you've got some very basic protection for uh, risk management. Now, my trade actions in here, I can select the lot size. I can choose any lot size I want. I can select whether I want to open and open buy trades or open sell trades. Now, if I uncheck these values, no trades will open, but you can use it for trade alerts. So if I put in my email address here and turn this feature on, or my Telegram credentials and turn this on, this will actually send trade signals based on these trade rules that we've set up. I can also check the box here and it will show a pop-up screen um, when there's a trade rule, sorry, when there's a, a signal being generated. So it's going to leave the open and buy trade, so it'll be an automated trading si uh, system. <clears throat> now also, here it's got closed trades on opposite signal. Now if you select this and I go to my trade rules, these are the bullish trade rules. So if these trade rules occur, it will open up a buy position. If these trade rules occur, it will open up a sell. If you select closed trade rules on opposite signal, this will mean that when there's a, a bearish trade, sorry, bearish uh, tr signal, it will close buy positions. So it will close buy positions when it shows a bearish trend and it will sell, uh, close bearish um, sell, sell trades when there's a bullish trend. So it will do the opposite. OK, so open notepad on close. That just means that it will open up um, your trade um, strategy in a notepad window when you when you start the, the CBOT. Now, the next thing you want to do is click on review strategy. Now, in here, you can review the strategy that we just set up. Here we've got bullish trade rules, um, exponential moving average five has crossed above the exponential moving average eight on a one hour time frame and the exponential moving average 8 has crossed above the moving average 13. So both of these trade rules have to be true for it to send a trade signal to either open a trade or send a signal. So here we've got the stop loss and take profit and trade actions on bar close. So when the candle closes, the trade actions are open a buy trade, close a trade on opposite signal and show a pop up message. The same thing for the bearish trade rules. Now, these can be independent. As I said previously, you don't have to have the same trade rules. So the strategy could be very different for the bearish trade rules. But here we've got them the same, but the opposite. So it's the opposite thing. It crosses below instead of above, but the same trade actions and risk management. Now you can name your uh, strategy name. You can just call it 5813EMA. So that's the name I'm calling the strategy. I can save the strategy, and now I can run the strategy. Now when I run the strategy, it's come up with a um, notepad to show you your trade rules. You can close this and you'll notice on the chart you've got the name of your strategy. The strategy is actually running now because you can see the orange icon. And now this will open and close trades based on your trade rules that you've defined. At any time you can open up the strategy file to open up Notepad. Actually, that's not working for some reason. I'll find out why. But when you click on that, that would open up Notepad and actually come up with your trade rules. Now you can open up the strategy builder. Again, that will open up the strategy builder. So you can go back into the strategy builder. You can load the one that you saved previously and it's opened it and you can go through and actually make any alterations or modifications to our existing strategy that you've just set. Now, that's a very basic overview to show you. Now, at the same time, you can actually back test this. So there is an opportunity to actually go into Ctrade Automate, which I'll do in a separate video to show you how to back test your strategies just to see with historical data how they would have performed. Um, so this is a very useful feature. Now, at the same time, if I actually go back to trade rules, I'm just going to do a bit of extra stuff here. You can also delete these trade rules and modify them by checking the box, clicking delete. So you can actually remove the trade rules quite easily, or you can add new ones. OK, I think that's about covered most of the things there. Um, so all I'm going to do now is just leave you to it to play with it. Um, so I hope you enjoy the product. It's a beta version, so it may contain a few bugs. Um, but it will give you a rough idea of what, where we're going, what we're heading for. So the whole idea is to add a lot more indicators, a lot more risk management, so you can build your strategies. So I do recommend that you watch the next video we're going to do, which is going to be about back testing these strategies so you can actually test them before you run them. OK, thanks very much. If you do like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And at the bottom of this uh, YouTube channel, you can sorry, on the page, you can see links where you can download the product. OK, thank you.